Good morning everybody! Welcome back to another vlog from our little homestead over here. We have a big day ahead. Bowie, our little rescued pet goat, he is getting bigger and more advanced every day. So right now he can jump on the couch, he can jump on the table and it's just becoming a big mayhem inside. But he still cannot be left alone outside. So we have to do some big changes inside of the house, just temporary until he is able to be outside. And as well, we need to clean our chicken coop and that's what we're gonna start with now. So let's join Mary, he is already in it. Hey Bowie! Mario is starting with a chicken coop and we're gonna go and join him and help him. So let's go there. Matty is halfway through already because you wanna go surfing? What is going on my doggies? <laughs> He's trying to get it done as soon as possible so he can go for a surf. Our chickens are free ranging right now so the chicken coop is empty and they are somewhere in the wild. And we have uh, actually very sad news that happened yesterday, so it's very fresh and sad. You Devastating news. Mm. We've had some really bloody sad news, guys. The surf is pumping right now, and I'm cleaning a bloody chicken coop. That's not a sad news. Oh, the other news. Yeah, that news. Now we do have some sad news. One of our bloody chickens died. So we started with six, and now we've got five. What I think happened was, well, it was actually one of the Australops, like one of our favorite chooks. Yeah, the little one. The little black ones, like they're our favorite ones. They're the most friendly ones. They come up to you, they eat out of your hands. They're just little lords. And I think what happened is a snake got in here at some point and bit like, because chickens play with snakes, they like peck them and stuff. Mm. So I think the snake had a crack at the chicken and it obviously killed it because they weren't let out of this cage. Can't, foxes can't get in here, cats can't get in here. It must've been a snake hit it. Or it flew flat stick from one side of the cage to the other and it had internal bleeding or something, but... She just went downhill really quick. Yeah, it was like two days. I called... So one day we noticed that she is being sick and her wink is being weird. And then the next day I called the vet and the vet was like, oh, you don't really take chickens to the vet like you can, but we will either way tell you if it's going to make it or not. And we didn't even make it to the vet. She, that afternoon she died and yeah. She went downhill really well. We think it was a snake, so now... She went downhill really well? What's she on a bloody snake? <laughs> really quick, I mean. <laughs> Not well quick. And yeah, we have five chickens now. We are missing our little one, but that's the farm life, isn't it? You want to get another one, but... Yeah, we need to get them another friend. Mary is halfway through. He is being really quick. I came to help you. <laughs> oh, that's a nice change. Oi, watch your language. <laughs> Me and Bowie came to help you. We're gonna, oh, Mary is raking it now, we're gonna give them clean hay. And Getting it will be this. sparkling clean. Getting all this old chicken shit out of here. So the boxes are now filled with a fresh new hay. All the poo is clean from here. But we noticed that some of the chickens are sleeping on top of the boxes. Most of them are sleeping on the roost, but some of them are sleeping on here. It's only that one chicken who sleeps up here. Easy fix. I'm just gonna get another bit of ply, run it up on like a 30 degree pitch up there so it's like on an angle so when they fly out they just slide off <laughs> so and i'll never can't. be able to sleep up there ever again and then what i'll do is i'll hinge up there and i'll hinge up there and then will you be able to open that up and then there'll be feed and hay and stuff in there it'll close it's going to be on like a 45 or a oh, 30 that's degree pitch like so a... you just open it come stuff out boom and if the chickens fly out they just slide off <laughs> like a little Suckers. storage we're going to beat them at their own game eh? <laughs> But this is looking pretty good. This is where we are planning our two compost, two or three compost boxes. So it's very close by. <laughs> Effective. Just like that. Close by from the chicken coop, so we can just put all the chicken manure 
onto the here and then here I'm gonna have some banana trees and greenhouse so all the weeds from the veggie patch are gonna come here all the food scraps from the house and then the chicken poo here so I think it's gonna be a good spot for the compost can we just talk about how lucky our chickens are with that ocean views Pretty lucky eh? I tell you what I wish someone cleaned my house like this <laughs> I do you already have got that wish Oh yeah? yeah? Yeah. Oh, say different. Come on. Come on. Uh. I know you can't. Oh, my nose is so itchy. The wind doesn't make it uh, any better. I'm gonna clean the water feeder for them as well. So, Mette built this self serve water feeder. It has around 30 liters capacity and it has four of those cups and they just come here and drink from it and as they drink itself uh, fills up as well the cups so i'm just gonna clean their little cuppies from all the sand We built the chicken coop to be self-sufficient for at least two to three weeks so we can go away, film somewhere and come back and the chickens are all good. So they have a two to three weeks worth of food in this food feeder. Then they have a self-water feeder. Chickens are right here. They don't go too far. <laughs> and the chicken coop is rabbit proof fox proof that's like the biggest problem it has wire all around it so no foxes or no wild cats can duck through and get inside so chickens are very safe and happy in here Bo is being a big help this morning eating rocks and looking cute how are you mate <laughs> You gonna come help? You gonna come help? You just gonna come for cuddles. Just for cuddles. And we have a little update on our garden bed. So we will have three veggie patches here and we just put star pickets on there to secure it, secure it together and make sure it's not gonna fall with the pressure of the soil and we fill it up with some sticks and leaves and tree stumps which will first fill up a little bit of the space so we don't have to buy too much soil eventually all the sticks stems logs and leaves will decay over time and create a little bit of nutrition for the soil because we have here like our soil is it's not soil it's sand on the ground everywhere we have a sand so obviously we can't grow anything in the sand we have to buy all the soil so this will give it a little bit of nutrition over time this is the new trick Bowie learned he made hole in our fly screen in the door and that's how he gets inside I am not impressed Bowie <laughs> that's how much he loves to be inside he literally just made hole and he gets in yeah that's exactly how he does it and this is the next thing he learned he can now jump on the couch and he thinks it's funny out of there so this is what we built for him because he started to jump on the couch and I really don't want him to pee on our sofa we built these contraptions in here so we blocked the way to the couch we blocked the way to my plants because he started to bite all on those roots and we created him little playground very temporary <laughs> from the bags here just so he has something to jump on and play and as well i needed to block off the cactus because he kept eating it and chewing on it which is obviously not healthy for him either so this is how we're looking this is his little bed <laughs> this is his playground and our house is slowly but surely <laughs> looking like a monkey trail
But like I said in the last video, we are not planning on Bowie to be an indoor pet goat. He is going to be outside, but he is right now 18 days old. So he is still really brand new. He is still bottle fed and he still needs to be around us all the time. He still can't be left alone. Otherwise he just screams and cries and shakes and just, he is just really stressed and scared. So right now he is indoor. This is all very temporary. But it's the situation we are in now and we will be slowly transitioning him to be outdoor. But right now, he's our little baby. In the attempt to transition Bowie to be more outdoor, we went shopping and we got him this cat tower or like a kitty tower playground, which is a little bit smaller, but I think it's gonna work for him. He seems to enjoy it. We just need to do a little adjustment, for example, with this flower. So Mary is gonna... <laughs> Mary is gonna drill it here to make the platform bigger and to give him more space up there and then as well Bowie needs to get introduced into his diet some clean hay and some grain pellets so getting right into it I've got places to be mate I ain't going nowhere perfect thank you Look at that. Go, buddy, go. <laughs> they got him an outdoor box with clean hay inside so he can feel safe and warm in it, but as well he can start eating that. And then he has his little playground here. He can still see me while I am inside and he can be outside. That's the plan. Fingers crossed it's gonna work. <laughs> and hopefully he will slowly transition to spend more time outside alone while I can get some stuff done inside without him destroying our couch and table and everything. Do you like your new tower playground? So you can climb and jump and stuff. Hey, how is it? How is it? I think he likes it. He can climb and jump and be high. That's what he likes. <laughs> Look at his Look at his smile. And for those asking where Bowie is sleeping, he sleeps in the bedroom with us. So he has his home here, he has his training pad here, and this is exactly the issue. He now can jump on top of our bed, which is quite high, but he learned how to jump on there. Come on down. I don't want you to pee on our bed. He is right. <laughs> he sleeps right next to us in his box and that works for us quite well. In the night, he doesn't jump on the bed. That's just during the day. Hmm? Like to play, don't you? Out of there. Out of there. Good morning, everybody. Bowie just jumped onto my lap. He can jump really high. <laughs> What you doing here? What you doing on the chair? No? <laughs> Just morning cuddles. You need some morning cuddles. He already had his bottle. I didn't even have a sip of my coffee yet and I already built him new home. Ta-da! This is Bowie's Taj Mahal. <laughs> you can see that I did not have my coffee yet because it's not square, it's not level. But it will do, it's just his daytime bed. The last one was getting too small, so I just made him a really big one. So that's a Bowie's new bed. Then I'm gonna have finally my coffee. And then, are we gonna go check if we have some eggs? Are we gonna go check on Chiki? Don't you do that. Matty left yesterday for his fishing and camping mission. So he is now doing his adventures and it's just me and Bowie and we have heaps of videos to edit or not him, me. So I have a lot of work to be done. Bowie is still transitioning to be outdoor and it's not going too well. If I am outdoor, he is outside as well. But if I am inside, he just wants to be inside with me. But we are doing little steps. He is definitely enjoying, oh, careful. He's enjoying his little kitty flower tower, don't ya? Still learning. Be careful, but. But before we start editing and working, let's say good morning to our chickens and let's check on the eggs because it looks like that the second golden chicken, the second golden laced Vyandotti, 
I think she is lying eggs as well. So it looks like that we have two out of the five chooks that are lying eggs. Let's go tell them good morning and let's check how many eggs we have there. Should we let them free range? Should we let them free? Come on then. Good morning, chickies. Enjoy your freedom. How are you all? All looking good and healthy? Hi, boy. You want to play with them? Hmm? Go say hello then. How is the egg situation? Oh, I can see already. None here. But here, I can say one egg. What about here? Hey boy, already one egg. And the last box. Looks like we have one egg this morning. How good is this? <laughs> How good? Come on, Bowie, let's make breakfast. If you couldn't tell my excitement before from our chicken eggs, you can definitely know. <laughs> we have a basket with hay and that's where I put our chicken eggs. And I reckon it looks amazing and it just makes us appreciate it every day, our chooks. What are you doing there? Oh my gosh, get out of the table. Boy, out of there now. Ne. What are you doing? How did you go there? I know you guys were recommending me, a lot of you, to give him nappy. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're gonna fall, it's slippery. You got, oh. <laughs> oh, this is my life in a nutshell. Look at him. What I wanted to say is that a lot of you were recommending us to get him a nappies, which we actually did. Like, that was the second day we've got him. You're falling. The second day we got, we got him, we went and got like a newborn nappies because obviously he was pissing everywhere. But it's just not working with him because what he does, he holds the pee for hours and hours when you put the nappy on. Like the nappy would stay, kind of, but he wouldn't be in it. So he holds it, holds it, and then like after four or five hours, he actually he eventually kicks it off, and then the the ah. So I'm not gonna finish this sentence. <laughs> what I'm trying to what I'm trying to say is that the nappy would even stay on him, but then yeah, he kicks it off after like five hours, and all the wee he was holding on for so many hours. He just let go everything at once on the most inconvenient place like carpet or somewhere. So it's just not working for us. Obviously, it's restricting him. That's the first thing. But second, he just doesn't be in it. He would hold it, hold it, and then eventually get rid of the nappy. So these pot puppy training pets are working better for us because he is 90, 95% trained. He usually wees on them, so it's no mess in the house, sort of, and... Yeah, they are waterproof. It doesn't go. <laughs> it doesn't go on the floor, and yeah, it's not restricting him. I still didn't have my coffee. I still didn't have the coffee, and I have a goat on my back and head. Come on, get down. <laughs> get down. Mama's not ready for that yet. Come on, circus. It's circus here. Oh my gosh, you're gonna hurt yourself. It's the circus field days family. Hey, eh? <laughs> that's why I got him the climbing tower flower thing, so you can climb on that, <laughs> not on me. <laughs> okay, get down before you get hurt. Oh, no, nah, enough, enough, enough. Oh, naughty, naughty, naughty. down get down the milk's not ready yet get down feels good to me it's a lunch oh <laughs> get down it's a lunch time for Bowie
because he is now almost three weeks old, it's getting reduced how often we feed him, but he is getting more and more milk. So now he has like a big breakfast and big dinner. And then I just give him still a little bit of milk during the day. And he should be transitioning into eating a little bit more of the grain pellets and the hay. But he doesn't... He has it here, the grain, the grain and the hay, but he doesn't eat it. He chews a little bit on the hay, but he didn't even touch the grain yet. So I just give him a little bit of milk during the lunchtime. And <laughs> he loves his milk. He's probably like, I don't care about your grain, I want my milk and nipple. Hmm? No air, no air. How was it? Could have more. Hmm? All right, guys, I think that's all from us for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it would mean the words to us. If you can like it, share it with anyone you think would enjoy this little bundle of cuteness and I'm gonna see you in the next week. If you don't wanna miss on the next video, you can subscribe as well and we will see you next time. <laughs> Love you, ciao. See you next week. Ciao. His horns are starting to grow. You can just feel the little buds growing here. Oh my gosh. He is getting so much bigger. He grows so fast every day. Aren't you? Stop eating my hair, Bowie, and make friends with the chickens. Or at least get them inside a coop. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at him. Balancing on my leg. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Come on. Get the chickens inside. Go. Go. Get the chickens inside. <laughs>